A woman is recovering today after police say she was followed home from a store and shot right outside of her home in southeast Houston. Yeah, it happened on Thrush Drive and Croswell Street. Our Kathy Hernandez is at a nearby police station with a warning for others. Police say the victim was with her mother in law at the time. They say this is concerning as many people will be out doing last minute shopping and also running errands less than a week before Christmas. But in this case, there are still a lot of questions as to why. Why were these women targeted? Police say that the shooter didn't rob them at all. Take a look at this video here. You can still see a bullet hole in the driver's side window of this pickup truck outside the home on Thrush and Crosswell this morning. Police say the woman driving and her mother in law had been shopping and as they were driving home, a man started following them at some point. When they pulled up to the house, he got out, fired once at their truck and took off. The woman in her 20s was shot in the face and taken to the hospital in stable condition. Her mother in law was not hurt. It's unclear if they were targeted because of an attempted robbery, road rage, mistaken identity, or something else. It does not appear so at this time. Um, I, I don't know what started it and at what point she was followed. It, it could have been anywhere along the route and there, there was no altercations or anything. Uh, that have been identified yet that led up to this. Police advise people to be aware of their surroundings at all times. If you think you're being followed, don't go home. Instead, go to the nearest police station, fire station, open gas station, or other well-lit areas where people are around and people can help you. They also say try to shop during daytime hours. As far as the description of this shooting, all they say is that it was one man, possibly two, in inside a dark colored car. If you know anything, please call HPD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Southeast Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC2 News.